Today I will be showing you how to use these weaving discs. Follow the steps and pattern provided on how to make these DIY Kumi Hemo discs. Kumi Hemos can be used to weave bracelets, keychains, belts. Your imagination is the limit. We will start with the disc. I'll be using yarn, but of course you can use just about any type of strand. You will need eight strands for this weave. I used four strands that measured four feet, folded in half to make eight strands. Create a knot by wrapping the yarn around your finger and then looping it through. Make sure your knot is tight. Push the knot through the center and arrange your strands. We will be doing a simple pattern, but you can offset the colors and make a different weave pattern. Start with your top right strand and bring it to the right bottom notch. Take your bottom left strand and bring it to the top left notch. Rotate your disc clockwise and continue on with the next color. Right to right and left to left. You can tell which strand you finished with because it crosses over the middle just like the white here. Remember to pass your fingers through the cord so that they don't tangle up. And there's your finished product. To finish off your cord, you will tie opposite strands together just like so. And again. And again, until all your cords are tied together. And there it is. You can also tie off the cord with a knot like the first step by wrapping around your finger and passing it through.
Now for our square or rectangular kumi himo. You can use the same amount of strands as the first weave, so four strands that measured four feet folded in half to make eight strands. Start off by making a knot at the base of your cord. Insert the knot into the center and position your strands. We will be doing a simple pattern, but you can offset the colors and make a different weave pattern. Just like the round disc, you will need to pass your hands through your strands so that they don't knot at the bottom. I make sure my strands are organized before starting. Bring your top right cord to your left side notch. Again, the top right cord to your left side notch. And then take your bottom right strand and bring it to the empty space on top. Continue this motion until you're left with an empty space on the left. It's also good to keep tension on the knot on the bottom, pulling once in a while just to make sure everything is nice and tight. Take the first strand that you've moved and move it to the empty notch on the bottom. This is your first weave. Repeat the process until you've just reached your desired length. Repeat the weaving process to make your second weave. I'm going to speed up until the end of the cord. There it is, the finished product. To tie it off, tie opposite strands together, just like so. Repeat the process with the next strands. Like the previous method, you can tie a larger knot on the bottom as well. For this one, I simply separated the yarn that was left over. Remember you can try different patterns by switching up the colors. I hope you had fun today and I hope to see you next time.